Hi, we're going to talk about CAMH, family or child abuse, and the importance of CAMH. I'll go through a poster I made and how to contact CAMH for treatment. The Centre for Addiction and Mental Health, CAMH, supports many Canadians with mental illness with their wide range of resources and the ability to rehabilitate people to help transform their lives. At your first appointment, you will begin with a comprehensive assessment that will help determine your, what treatment, therapy programs, and services will be best for you. Some professionals you can expect to meet with include a medical doctor, a psychologist, a social worker, an occupational therapist, and child and youth workers. Some treatments and therapy services include individual therapy, group therapy, art therapy, music therapy, substance use programs such as alcohol, smoking, and recreational drug use, and anger management problems. Chances are either you or someone you know has either experienced some form of abuse in the past or is still experiencing abuse today. Approximately one in three of Canadians age 15 or older have experienced some form of maltreatment, physical abuse, or sexual abuse, as well as witnessing violence by a parent or guardian against another adult. Abuse in families occur in many forms. It can show up as physical abuse, sexual abuse, and neglect. In the book Died in the Green by George Mercer, the main character, Ben Matthews, works at the Cape Breton National Park and is tasked to deal with poachers that roam the area. One of the poachers that he encounters is Francois, an 18-year-old with a father figure who is harmful to him. After investigating his home and meeting with his father, Ben finds signs that Francois is being abused. Child abuse is very serious and often goes unreported. Francois can go through the following steps to get a referral to CAMH. A physician referral is required for most of the services at CAMH. And like Francois, you can go to a CAMH site, your family doctor, or any walk-in clinic. Those struggling with substance abuse can call CAMH directly to have a self-referral. In my poster, I have four main elements. The title text, the scenario story, the photo background, and the contact information. The photo background of two silhouetted figures has a purple tint to represent the CAMH color and to give the design a soothing feel. The two figures are in a sunlit room, with their faces hidden in the shadow, leaving them anonymous. Just like how when people go to CAMH, everything is completely confidential. Also, leaving the faces unseen is an aspect I wanted to focus on. Just like how many mental illnesses are often not seen physically, but rather through emotions and behaviors. The light behind the figures represent hope for change and the will to heal. The photo and the text in the poster tell a story between Ben and Francois. This format follows the formula of a previous CAMH poster campaign. This poster is in the viewpoint of a bystander, and the target audience is a bystander and their friend in need. The title text speaks as the viewer is trying to help and then goes into the story. The format appeals to me because it follows the flow of the poster and it's easy to get to the point. In the top right corner, the large white bold text grabs the reader's attention and entices the viewer to read further into the nearest point of contrast, which is a white text box with purple title and black subtext. Here, the reader is engaged to learn about a brief history and facts about CAMH. The viewer can then exit the design by leaving through the bottom right corner with the CAMH logo being the last thing seen. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about CAMH, family abuse, and neglect. I hope this can help you or someone you know get the help they need.